Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to create OCI event which invokes a function for any object creation in a object storage bucket. To start with, first we have to enable object storage bucket to emit events. For that, if you have already created OCI bucket, we have to make sure that emit object event is enabled. If it is disabled, then you have to make sure we are enabling that event. At the time of creation also, you will see an option which asks for emit object event. We have to check mark that checkbox. So the point number one is done. And the second point is we have to create OCI event with rule matching for any object creation in a object bucket. We have to invoke a function. For that, we have to go to this hamburger menu under observability and management. Go to this event service. I have already created a object event function. Uh, if you are creating for the first time, we have to go over here provide some name we have to provide some description if any under a uh, rule condition we have to select object storage over here and the event type whatever is suited for you that is object creation i'm interested in only object uh, creation and second i'm going for the attribute type here i'm giving the bucket name if there are a lot of buckets uh, in your uh, compartment then you have to go for this bucket name so that the events are created only for that specific bucket when an object is created deleted or updated uh, what's the action type we are interested in this video in learning functions we have to select the function then we have to select the compartment that in our case it is uh, learning oci 236 uh, function application is a python app under this function uh, we need this oci invoked by event function which i have created specifically for events once done we have to click on this create rule so that's it uh, this is the step number two and the third is functions we have to create a function and deploy here in my case what i have done is in my function will upon receiving the event trigger data uh, it will send an email notification using oci email delivery this we had seen in one of our uh, previous videos same code i have used over here if you have not watched that video please check out the video on high level we'll walk through the code for functions so this is the boilerplate code uh, which we get by running that function uh, python init command so i have created the send email function uh, in the notify.py uh, module so here uh, the code is exactly the same what we have seen in our previous video we, we sent makes use of this oci email delivery only uh, thing is what i'm doing is i'm pulling the data from my uh, request that is body uh, event type so it will be something uh, like uh, com dot uh, storage object storage uh, when the event got triggered the compartment name and the uh, resource name as i have created uh, this event specifically for uh, object storage bucket uh, object creation so this email will be sent for that specific uh, scenario okay based on your requirement you can modify this email template or you can uh, go ahead with the, any other business requirement what the function can do in your case now we'll try to upload an object i'm selecting the fly file from my uh, local computer clicking on upload this might have triggered our uh, function and we might have received an email let's go to our email and check the email yeah i have received an email from oci email delivery via the function so this is the content dear uh, team this email is by oci email delivery this is at the high level that is event type is uh, create object for object storage event time is uh, uh, today's date and time when the event has been created uh, what's the compartment and what's the file name uh, in our case we had uploaded this tab 002 of file.csv file there is the same file uh, whose name is under this resource name so this is that custom template which i have created in your case you can create your own uh, email template for the purpose sending an email could also be done uh, with the help of this notifications by creating a topic and uh, that topic can uh, deliver a message or an email this use case we'll check in our next video thank you for joining us in this video